Hey guys, John here. Let's have a little bit of a game of Search and Destroy on Invasion. And I will say right off the bat that this game is nothing special at all. It is just a 6 and 4 game, I want to say. But it was kind of fun because we came back from a 3 0 deficit. And that was my phone that just went off. Uh, it's telling me that Joey Voto, or Vado, if you want to say, went 4 for 7 with 2 home runs and 4 RBIs and a win versus Wednesday versus Giants. Now everyone who's like, Joey Votto, who is that? I'll tell you. Joey Votto, first baseman for the Reds, like I said, who is a beast. And he sounds Italian, even though I know he's probably not, but he sounds like it. So yes, on the note of baseball, it's like to say Rockies made an epic comeback today. Down 10-1, came back to win it 12-10, I want to say. And uh, yeah, I, I really don't remember what I was going to say before that. It was, oh yeah, this game, 6-4, nothing special whatsoever, but we did fairly well with our little comeback, and uh, the other team was hilarious, I love those guys, because apparently one guy was supposed to be playing named Nick, but uh, let's see, his brother was on, or his friend, or someone else that wasn't Nick, and everyone was like, Nick, where are you? And the guy's like, I'm not Nick, even though those gamertags said Nick in it. I don't know, dude. It, it was funny, though. It was some good times. Because uh, at one point, he's cussing out the iMods quickscope, which I'm pretty sure is Nick's friend, but not the guy who's impersonating Nick's friend, if that makes sense. This has not started out well. We got Joey Votto, got the Rockies, got Nick, who wasn't actually Nick, but was supposed to be Nick. So, uh, yeah, what I'm doing right now, some uh, hardcore camping. I really did not want to lose right off the bat, so I decided, no, I'll wait back. So I was checking out the scores. I saw all of them were mostly positive, so we got a 3-0 lead. You know, that changes people's game style. Like, when you got a big lead, you're going to be rushing him just trying to have a fun game. Uh, so, see. Um, I don't know. It was just, it was a fun game. This was about uh, two weeks ago, I think I want to say, so. Slightly old. But uh, I actually say closer to three weeks. Here we go. I decided not to take the same campus spot to got two guys. So I'll set down Claymore there. It's kind of chill over here by the garbage bins. And uh, I, I get one guy running over there. But first I get this guy. Oh, I hated this. I saw his head peek up and then goes in host migration. Hated when that happens. Because you know, you never know what's going to happen. I've, I've had people who you're shooting at them when host migration begins. And then when it ends, they're not even there. They're right behind you. And they're like, oh, sit down. So, after this little part here, I definitely should have been on the TV show. I shouldn't be alive. Because I just got absolutely wasted with jelly all over my face. So, kind of chilling out again, you know. I make a pretty big mistake right here. Should have the guy. Should have waited for him to come back instead of rushing and get taken down. And uh, I hope everyone likes my little setup. It's very original, you know. A little UMP with the silencer. I mean, you never see people running that. Not at all. And that guy uh, playing dead right there doesn't help my cost. <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. Uh, when this happens, it's 2v2. I'm thinking, oh crap, you know, we're about to lose. We got a guy who can't snipe. He's missed a couple shots. And I think, okay, it's UMP guy, last hope on our team. And he gets knifed. So it's like, oh, sweet, sweet. I was about ready to actually stop recording right now, but I thought, ah, I'll give the guy a chance. We'll see what happens. And, uh, turns out he's actually uh, pretty nice to me there. A little spray right there, and then uh, this guy also tells him to sit down. And <laughs> oh, I love that little animation jump that happens, man. That's, that's sick. Sick indeed. So, yeah, dude, I think he just checked the scoreboard there, and he's like, oh, spin. I hate when people spin. I mean, I, I'd rather, I mean, I do it myself sometimes, like when I'm really psyched. But, I mean, if you're going to defuse a bomb, just stand there and defuse it. I mean, it kind of gets old after a while. It's like the people who go over and waste all their time uh, teabagging the other team when they're dead. Yeah, it doesn't help. <sighs> so here we go. Kind of taking the same type of path, except for veering off to the right. Looking in the little house there, because uh, I actually enjoy running inside that building and trying to shoot people that are in my spot that I'm at. 
And this is a pretty good example of knowing when you've lost the fight and just running away. As if I would have stayed there, I would have died a lot sooner than I do. So, I mean, oh, spoiler alert, I die this round. But, uh, <laughs> it, it's good times, man. I, uh, I'm, I'm really excited for Black Ops. It should be a fun game. I mean, just a multiplayer trailer looks pretty sick. Especially, like, uh, the one thing I really like is the camera. But it kind of makes me worried because I feel like it might encourage a little more camping. Like, you know, you'll be able to watch your back and everything. But uh, one thing I feel like that will discourage the camping is RC Car Bomb. Dude, that looks so sick. I mean, I I'm actually legitly excited for that. I hope you can control it by yourself so you can control where it goes. Man, that will be a fun game, dude. Or, of course, you know, it could be like Modern Warfare 2 where it's fun at first and you're like, oh, you kind of uh, die down on the excitement. And then a couple months later, you're like, oh, it's so much fun. But, you know, dude, I'm hoping it'll probably be good. And uh, here we go. 3-3, three, three. going into the last round. Ah, switching sides. Dude, we have a good chance to actually do this. And uh, you probably know that we do do it, because I think I've said that before. And uh, it, it's pretty exciting, man. It's pretty exciting indeed. So back to Black Ops. I, I am really excited. Especially like that and Halo Reach. Oh, dude, Halo Reach should be a lot of fun as well. Because I'm a fan of Halo 3. I'm pretty bad at it, just like at Call of Duty, but you know, it's a fun thing, dude. It's another game you can play with your friends, have fun. But anyway, this little video is nearing its end. And at the end, I, I'm going to stop talking a little bit before the end, so you guys can hear the teammates having a friendly conversation with each other. <laughs> it's good times, just make sure you listen towards the end. When uh, Nick, or Nick's imposter, talks about... How he is more mature than someone. <laughs> and he uses examples. It's like, uh, I think he mentions how he has bigger balls. Uh, and a few other things. Or bitches, I think. I think that's the exact wording he used also. But anyway, you guys, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And uh, have a good day, you guys. It's nice talking to you. The challenge has been met. You call me daddy. Okay. I'm gonna sound next friend. You said I'm annoying, so fuck him. You came from Nikon first time. He's like, I got no friends, Dad. He's funny. And um, Don Bomb, he's like, I got no friends. And that's why I said, that's why he on Xbox right now, right? Shut up. You're not good, did I say I was cool? I'm not adopted! Yeah, I'm so adopted. I'm, 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 I'll send a picture of you and my father right now. Tell me if I'm adopted. Yeah, my dad, you put me in a home? You put me in a home? I thought. No, no, no. No! I wanna finish cursing out Don Bomb. You little bitch. I know I'm real mature. I'm more mature than you. My balls drop. I got a big penis. I got friends. And I got bitches. In your spot. Alright then, that's what I thought, bitch. So that's why you shut up. <laughs>